everyone, this is Linnea Lukin from the Heartland Institute, here with another quick climate fact check. Today's topic is federal energy subsidies. How much do fossil fuels receive? What about renewables? While some people claim fossil fuel companies benefit unfairly from massive federal subsidies, and therefore wind and solar need them too in order to catch up and compete fairly, the exact opposite is the case. Government data reveals the truth. According to the U.S. Energy Information Administration, fossil fuels and conventional energy receive much less in the way of subsidies than wind and solar. Wind alone gets more subsidies than all conventional energy sources combined, and the same is true for solar. There is also an imbalance on the kind of subsidies received. While fossil fuels benefit from research and development-related grants, as well as business tax reductions that all businesses receive, Solar and wind in particular receive more direct subsidies and indirect subsidies. Wind and solar can get easier access to free production on federal lands and often don't have to pay for their own transmission lines. Wind and solar are both also mandated in many state energy development portfolios, giving them a leg up for new project funds. Despite making up only 21% of domestic electricity production, Renewables such as wind, solar, hydropower, and biomass alone account for 46% of all subsidies. Energy subsidies for things like energy efficiency and conservation get the next largest chunk at 35%. Fossil fuels, which make up more than 60% of our electricity production, only get 13%. That's all I have for this fact check. For the sources used as reference for this video, you can check out climateataglance.com, where you can also download a free copy of the book Climate at a Glance for Teachers and Students. If you prefer paper, you can purchase a hard copy on Amazon. We also have an app available called Climate at a Glance for Android and iPhone. Thanks for watching.